Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for part 3 of Let's Build a Row of Terraced Houses. I am so excited to be sharing this part with you guys because in my opinion this is the favourite house. It probably will remain my favourite house even though I know we've got two more to build and or decorate rather and you know people might be thinking oh maybe that'll be really cool or whatever but this house is like decorated to my personal taste so I think that this one will withstand the test of the other two houses personally although I love them all for different reasons and that's why I wanted to do this build because they are all different in their own right so yes 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 <laughs> this is the house for the young couple there are two sims moving into this house I'm a male and a female sim and not another gay couple, but um, a heterosexual couple. They're moving into this house and they don't have any children. They are only just married and I don't think children is on their mind just at the current moment. So yeah, they're really artistic. The two of them, they're very creative as a couple. So I wanted the house to be really fun, really colorful, um, covered in pictures, covered and covered in pictures. I really, really like this house. It's my favourite. I think if I had to choose a house to move into, it would probably probably be this one. Um, but yeah, you'll have to, to, to see what you think about it. I'm just working on the kitchen at the moment and I've got a couple of exposed brick walls because I love exposed brick. I think it's so, so beautiful. If I could have exposed brick in my house, I would. But I'm renting, so I can't just like... <laughs> <laughs> stick it is you know pull the wallpaper down or or put fake you know fake exposed brick wallpaper on there and I use these I think I do use these couches again but in a different color these couches are custom content and I love them and I use them in every single house so far and yeah totally totally love them I need to do a bit more custom content shopping but I've been holding off I've been really had a craving for custom content shopping over the past couple of weeks but I've been holding off because I want to do a X Urban Sims inspired custom content shopping video so I've been holding off buying any more custom content but yeah I use that couch I love it and I I try different curtains but then I just go back to my old faithfuls because those the curtains again are custom content but the curtains that I oh, are they actually are they actually custom content I don't think they are I can't remember whether they are or not but either way I scale them up I love them they're my fave fave ones and I'm just working on the living room now and I don't think I put the television in I might be wrong and we will see in a second but this house doesn't have a television I don't think and um, before anyone comments down below saying you forgot a television I didn't forget a television they don't have one <laughs> they have a computer which I put in later they don't have a television they don't feel the need for a television they're a very creative couple they spend a lot of time painting and working on their craft and they don't feel the need for a television it's an unnecessary expense in their eyes so yeah they don't have a television the living area they don't really use that much they spend most of their time in the kitchen they don't have a dining area but I have put some bar stools there in the kitchen area so they can eat there they don't need a dining table necessarily and the, the house is small and it's completely open plan downstairs I think this is the first one so far actually I think the very first house was open plan but yeah um what was I talking about yeah open plan the first house I think might be open plan I can't remember now but um I think it is yeah it is but this house is also open plan and it's just a kitchen and a living area there is not a dining area like there was in the previous build so it's all all good and I'm just to be honest I sort of flick back and forward between the kitchen area and the living area I flip backwards and forwards between them because yeah I normally do one room at a time like complete one room move on to the next but in this build I sort of flit around a lot I'm quite happy with how it turned out again um again like I've said in previous house builds or house decorations whatever you want to call them I don't think a house really gains that 
really nice feel until after your sims move in because they acquire things you know they they get things from promotions in their career they take photographs they do paintings so you don't really get a sense of a really lived in happy home until your sims are living in the house and and adding as they go along so in all fairness this house particularly i think well they all no not this house particularly all the houses will develop as the sims move in and i will be moving the sims in at the end when all the houses are complete i will be moving the whole family in there are eight sims all together eight sims over five houses and i'll be locking the door so they can only go into their respective house and i will be playing with them i'll do i'll do like a um a moving in video and, and I'll share that with you guys because I feel like we would need it you know we've we've built this house together and I know um, a few of you really like this this series so I think you guys would like to see the sims move in because I have created them believe it or not I have created them already and I will move them in in the end so I will film that for you guys I don't know whether I'm gonna make a series out of it or not because there isn't a NRAS are not modding The Sims 4. I love NRAS in The Sims 3. To be 100% honest with you guys, I'm not sure if I would still play The Sims 3 if NRAS hadn't modded it. Is that crazy? I don't know. I don't know if that's crazy. But I don't think that I would play The Sims 3 if NRAS hadn't modded it, thinking about it. Because I love, love, love the NRAS Master Controller, NRAS portrait panel all of the nras mods are amazing and i'm so gutted that they're not modding the sims 4 because i need nras master controller and i need nras the portrait panel i i just i need it i'm so sad about it no one else like i've been expecting more people to be asking for it or not asking for it but you know mentioning it but they um they haven't which i'm surprised about this wall here I'm sticking to gold frames, they're, they're very creative in terms of music and art, they love jazz music so a lot of the paintings on this wall here reference jazz, so really into that, I think it looks really cool, a lot of gold frames, really pretty, the whole wall is plastered, the walls are white but they're covered in colourful paintings and I think it's so cool, it's a really nice look, I like it a lot. So moving back to what I was saying, I need need a mod which allows me to have more than eight sims in my household if you guys know of a mod that allows me to have more than eight sims and to have more than eight sims show in portrait panel and create a sim then you guys need to share that with me but i honestly have scoured and scoured the whole interwebs and i have not yet found a mod that does that for me and i think that's going to really like when i move the sims into this household that's why i think i won't be able to play with them um, for more than a mini series just because they, they can't expand they're stuck with eight and eight over five it, it, it just it doesn't work in my opinion but anyway i'm going to stop talking about this now and get back onto what i put onto the actual build so i've decorated the house now the downstairs love 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 looks amazing really really cool and i'm moving on to the hallway and i love this custom content it's a boat but it's also a shelf it's really cool love it and i'm just stocking that up with a few bits and bobs which I'm really into. Yeah, I love this house. I would move into this house. I've already said it. I'm not going to go on to repeat myself. But you guys don't have to let me know yet. But when we finished all of the houses, you guys will have to let me know which house you would like to move into the most out of all of them. Because my idea behind this house building series was to test myself. Because the house I'm building now is my typical, quote unquote, typical house build decoration i always do like white walls dark wood floors like if you guys watch my um wedding dress cc video when i marty tries on all his wedding dresses for us the house that we start off with there is decorated very similar similarly is that a word i don't know but similarly to this one because that's my tip that's my go-to that's what i feel comfortable decorating in and you guys will know if you watch simmers they have a, a comfortable style like some simmers prefer to build modern houses contemporary man you know whatever whatever the case is they like to stick in their comfort zone and it's really hard to branch out from that um, and this is my comfort zone so my idea behind building this row of terrace houses was to test myself to design and 
decorate other types of houses because yeah I felt like I was stuck in a rut doing the same thing over and over again and practice makes perfect so yeah I love that piece on the wall there with the tools in I think it's so so cool and uh, the garden's grass it's I think it's the only no no, no the last one was grass yeah that ne next door to the right was grass yeah it was but it was only really really small because they extended the kitchen out there so this is quite a quite a big garden and it's grass so they've just got a barbecue and a sitting area and then I deck this whole area here out in flowers. And I just use a bit of the um, the terrain colours to mark. It's a really great tip that, to mark where you think Sims would walk a lot, like outside of doors, underneath climbing frames. Mark that with dirt, it makes it look a lot more realistic and a lot better. And I've got move move objects on so I can stick tons of flowers together there. And I think it looks really cute. And I've got those little gloves and um, trowels. Are they called trowels? I don't know. <laughs> they might not be called trowels. I don't. I confess, I don't garden at all. My garden is is a yard. It's it's all it's all concrete. <laughs> there are no plants in my garden. It's it's literally the bare minimum because I just I don't know. Gardening is not for me. I, I don't know. It's not that I don't like gardening. I do like gardening, but it's one of the things that it's just another job. It's another thing you've got to do on top of everything else. And I, yeah, just, just now. <laughs> I move on to upstairs and this is the first house that I build a spare bedroom because obviously the couple that are moving into this home are married. So they sleep in the same bedroom, but they have a two bed house so the second bedroom I haven't made it a nursery or anything like that because they're still quite far off kids but um I I I've lost my train of thought they have a spare bedroom they have made the second bedroom a spare like um, a spare double bedroom so they have friends over to stay or whatever the situation is they can sleep in that bedroom and that's where they're like wardrobe is and such or chest of drawers so yeah and I put this throw on which is really cool and I really like how the upstairs turned out actually now I'm revisiting it because I've actually already decorated the house next door to the left I've already decorated so this is like a bit foggy in my memory <laughs> right now but yeah and I put this meditation thing there because why not and then I go for some more artwork on the walls of course yeah, I scale up some of the pictures as well because I was running out of pictures. When I go on my CC shopping hunt, I might look for some more artwork because I love, love, love decking my homes in tons of artwork, but it gets a little bit repetitive, or it seems to when you're building five houses in a row. <laughs> so yeah, and then I stick this desk. There's a little nook here where there was nothing in, so I decided to stick the desk here, um, and I put a computer on there and a few lamp and clutter objects on there for them because I feel like they would need a desk. No one else has had a desk. Like the two houses I've built so far haven't had a desk which really surprises me because yeah I feel like I need a desk. Me and my partner we each have a desk. A big desk with two screens and yeah we're, but we're really into our technology and stuff and I'm just going off on a tangent and I need to focus. <laughs> bathroom, we're doing the bathroom next. I love that sink, new favourite sink, it's really cool. I don't know, I change it, I must, do you know what, I must have thought, I use that sink too much so I'm going to use a different one, probably, that's probably my, my train of thought there but I really like this bathroom, this is like my ideal bathroom, this is the bathroom that I would choose to have. But then this is the house that I would choose to have. So, of course, this is the bathroom that I would choose to have along with that. So, yeah. What can you do? But I really like it. It's got everything you need. I tried to put stuff on there, but nothing goes... I don't know what that's for. I thought it was a shelving unit, but clearly it's not because nothing fits on it. Um, so, I, I think I deleted that in the end and thought, do you know what? Then I won't bother. <laughs> I won't bother then because clearly nothing goes on that wall. And what I've started doing is if I find something when I'm in build or buy mode that I think it would suit another room, I stick it in there while I'm in it because I forget about it otherwise. And I put this lovely round mirror and a nice picture down there so you can, you know, have a nice picture to look at when you're in the, when you're on the toilet. <laughs> and so the spare bedroom, it's a little bit, um, it's like a spare bedroom. 
that's what it is a spare bedroom and it's like a spare bedroom it's nicely decorated but it's a little bit um you can tell it's not as lived in as the rest of the house because no one really goes in it that much it's only if friends come to stay that they really use this room and then i found that which i thought would go in the kitchen but it was too late so yep and then i got this little shelving unit and i stacked a whole bunch of clutter objects on there because I love clutter objects I don't think clutter objects are used enough in builds like we we need to recognize clutter objects are a thing people need clutter people don't live in perfect worlds you know like the IKEA advert perfect imperfection is the way forward if you're into perfect imperfection then you're in the right place and then I just put an easel upstairs and a yoga mat downstairs and I make room in the back garden for another easel because they both love painting and then I'm just showing just going around the house make sure I've not forgotten anything I don't think I have and um, let me know of course if I have but I don't think I have and then I realized that I've actually forgot to put my fairy lights in so I have to come back at a later date so if the video like stops and then starts again I just go in to put those fairy lights in because I forgot and I love them so right about now we cut back in because I forget about the fairy lights. So let me know what you guys think of this build. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that would mean a lot to me and I would really, really like to hear your guys' comments. Which is which house is your favourite so far? Do you like this house? Is this your favourite if you're like me? Um, I've been really, really loving interacting with you guys over the past few videos. So yeah, please leave me your comments. I love reading them and talking to you guys. So yeah, um, please like comment and subscribe to my channel so you get notified when part four of this series comes out and i've got a few other series on my channel which you can check out so thank you guys so much for your time as always i appreciate it loads it's really cool that we can share this together so 